Hey everyone, before you get a chance to see just how bad of a truck driver I am in the dual truck, here's a message from my sponsor. This is a paid promotion by Keeps. Keeps is a male hair product that keeps, uh, well, keeps your hair in place. Uh, keeps it from leaving, keeps it from uh, vacating the space. It is possible that hair loss may be easier to prevent thanks to Keeps. Keeps is one of the only brands that offers generic versions of the only FDA approved active ingredients in hair loss products. The nice thing about Keeps is you can sign up on their website discreetly and actually speak to a licensed doctor who will prescribe you the product. And they'll ship it straight to you. Keeps. Hair today, hair tomorrow. So if you want hair like mine, or at least hope for hair like mine, I'd say go to keeps.com auto and you can get your first month free on me. And that's that. So, again, keeps.com auto gets you a first month free. Now, enjoy the dual truck. It was... Harry, when I see a truck, I climb it. I know, I gotta climb a truck. Climb every truck I see. <laughs> All right. This baby is from Steven Spielberg's first movie. I love a truck. I climb every single one I see because ever since I was a kid, that's all I ever wanted to do was climb trucks. I've shot ice road truckers. I've been around a lot of these kind of things, but I've never driven one. So this should be interesting. Okay. So I've never driven a truck before, you know that, right? No, no, you're getting ready to. Um, and you know, to start out, your first truck ever, to start out in the hardest truck there is to drive, <laughs> that's pretty good. If you can accomplish that's it, true. you should does that, like, in your rest of them. Does that qualify me as like a hardcore badass yeah, dude? Yeah, I would think maybe it could be on your way to them. Okay, cool. You know, you don't, don't ever panic or anything, just always just, just calm and cool, yeah. and it's okay. So the famous dual horn. Even the button's hard to press. <laughs> All right, so clutch in. I got to find first gear. Apparently, in this thing is very hard. There you go. So there it is. It's very easy for me so far. Letting the clutch out. We're rolling. Yeah, you We're go. Rolling. That's your first six inches of truck driving. <laughs> first six inches of truck driving. All right. There it is. All right. <laughs> Okay, so right? You're probably going to want to stop right here. <laughs> oh my god. There you go, push the brake in. Brad Wyke, and uh, you're here because I'm a crazy truck enthusiast. I've had a lot of people ask me, and they're like, why do you get in, why, how'd you get in all these truck drivers? Your dad must have been a truck driver. And I said, my dad never drove a truck. When I was a kid, uh, I think during the summer of first grade, uh, my grandfather drove a, a big truck. Uh, not a tractor trailer, but a big straight truck. And, and uh, I rode with him during the summer. I would see all the big rigs. And I was always going, man, I, I wish we were riding in one of those, you know. My dad introduced me to a great uncle, and I'm just a little kid. And he said, uh, your, your great uncle said that he, you could go with him, and now you get to ride in a big tractor trailer. He drove a big R model Mac and hauled gasoline. So I was like, wow. He was my hero. You know, everybody likes Superman or whatever, but my great uncle Alfred was, he was like my hero. I, he was a tall, skinny guy. And you wouldn't think he was strong enough to turn the truck, but he was the best truck driver I ever knew. And I just liked trucks from then on. You know, I always knew in the back of my mind, I wanted to run my own trucks. I didn't want to work for somebody else. I'm, a, I'm kind of an independent guy, and I don't really take orders that good. I got fired from a couple of jobs for taking people with me, because I always want somebody to hang out with me and have a good time. I decided I wanted to be the one in charge. I met a guy that wanted somebody to help haul his own materials. And so he and I partnered up. Word of mouth got out that, man, this guy's hustling. I went to two trucks, and then three trucks, and then four trucks, and then five trucks. And 
and I became, you know, VPW. Back in 97, I think I went to my first national antique truck show. I had it on my mind that I wanted to fix up an old truck. I'm more of an OEM kind of guy. I like stuff kind of original. I want to feel how the driver did, and this is a 73. I was seven years old then, so I want to feel how the, the guy driving is felt when he drove. One thing led to another, we built another one, we built another one, and you know, trucking's going pretty good, and you know, I buy, sell, and trade on trucks, so, you know, it, it's, I don't know, it just kind of came together. We went out to uh, Fontana to a truck show back in 2005, maybe, and they had all loaded down with chrome bling bling trucks. We were walking through there looking at all these trucks, taking pictures, and all of a sudden, poof, there sit that dual truck. I'm sitting there going, oh my God. Man, I remember that movie when I was a kid. I watched that movie. It came on like Saturday TV or something. And I remember thinking, that's a Peterbilt. And it was really the highlight of the show to me, even though it was just ugly. So I didn't even know it existed because in the movie, the truck at the end goes over the cliff, tumbles, boom, boom, it's all destroyed. Later, a few years later, they wanted to add some scenes to the movie. So they had to kind of, I guess they recreated a couple more trucks to come in and do that extra footage. That was where this truck came in the picture. This was uh, Steven Spielberg's first film. As my understanding, it was his first full-length film. In interviews from time to time, he'll mention that movie that has been part of his road to success, you know, that movie. And Dennis Weaver had a lot to do with it, too. He played the part just, <laughs> he couldn't have done it no better if it, I mean, he was the guy for the job. And uh, Kerry Lofton was the guy driving the truck. He was like a stunt truck driver, and he just whips that thing all over the road. And, and I'm like, man, I want to drive a truck like that. <laughs> I do now, I, mean, I do that. But back when you're a kid, you know, you're fascinated with it. And uh, never thought I'd own the truck, I just thought it was cool. A friend of mine ended up purchasing it. He didn't really have room to keep it, but uh, he contacted me and said I was the one that should have the truck. And, you know, every once in a while in your lifetime, you'll see something and you feel like you just gotta have it. And it was one of those times. Couldn't really afford it, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> this is my second time driving because we got up to, I'm basically driving Brad's driveway because you don't want to put me on a road with traffic in one of these. And that road out there is not straight, it's, it's curvy and it's very narrow. Even sitting in the passenger seat, it didn't look like he was actually in his lane. I trust he was. Um, so anyways, Second time, I, funny thing, I got out of the passenger seat, I burned my ear on the, so, on the, on the exhaust. So, officially, I've injured myself on this truck now. It is um, haunted, too. It's haunted? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, I'm now gonna go up Brad's very steep driveway on Gravel Road. Second time driving a truck in, in a straight line. Initiation two. I think I'm... And I'm, release the brakes. 
Oh, the racer? Push that up. Uh, there you go. There you <laughs> feel it moving. All right. Go ahead and ease the clutch in. Okay, it's all yours. All right. You're good. It's a little easier the second time. <laughs> I don't know how anybody did any stunt driving in this thing. It is tough as nails. I've driven small trucks, but never a semi, so this is completely new. This sounds so cool. I think every young boy has always wanted to hold a steering wheel like this, just big, almost horizontal, and just know what it's like to do this. But they did some amazing stunt driving in this, in this truck, and I have no idea how he did it. You have to have some skill to drive this thing in any speed, doing things with it. More? Oh, slow, okay. <laughs> hard to drive. Uh, this uh, remake of the truck actually has two sticks. And the original truck that went over the cliff, it had a regular single stick with the, with the button up and down for 10 speed. I guess it was a 10 speed. No power steering, no nothing, you know, it just goes. And it hardly has any brakes either. It's a 1961 351 Peterbilt. And uh, the tanker is a 1946. It's Cummins powered. And they took the old original worn out completely suspension out of it and replaced that with a Rayco suspension. So some of the things that was originally with the movie time has been sort of updated. So you got a little better uh, ride. Turn. Good. <laughs> there you get the wheel of steering wheel around. Yeah. I feel like a man. I feel like yeah, a real you man. Get your arms build up driving this truck, no doubt. I don't feel like the pansy ass little hipster I look like. <laughs> I feel like a man. On the back of the cab, there's a there's a box that represents what would have been back in the hot days before air conditioning. It would have been a, a, it was a swamp cooler. But uh, in the movie, I think they used that box for a, a camera box. You know, Spielberg had to mount a camera in there to get the, you know, the, the part where you see his hands turning the wheel and you're looking out across the hood and they got that little mirror and then you can see the smoke blowing out of the stack. You know, definitely smoke and mirrors. <laughs> I am now driving a giant semi truck over grass in a field on Brad's property. And that's basically what he does. Brad owns a bunch of trucks, antique trucks, new trucks, movie trucks, and, uh, and this is what he does. He just drives them around, he restores them, and he uh, brings them to shows. I remember watching that movie, Duel. You know, I actually wanted the truck to win, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I guess, like I say, I was dropped on my head or something when I was a kid to, to, to be this into trucks. And to other people, it's probably more about the movie. There's a following of people that want to know where that truck is because not only me I was fascinated with that truck from the movie, a lot of other people are too. I think it appeals to everybody. In fact, I took it to Mad Monster, uh, and there's no truckers there. It's all people that are into monsters and all this stuff. A lot of people like to come by and climb up in it and just sit there and play with the steering wheel and just kind of like, wow, this is actually a real movie truck that, you know, Dennis Weaver walked around and Spielberg was, you know, putting his cameras in. And this is a 
piece of history, an American piece of history, you know, and I, it was just, times have changed uh, somewhat for the better, but other ways not, you know, I, I like, I like the past. You got things you did as a kid and you want to re kind of rehash that, getting older every day. The fastest thing known to man is time. So we, you know, we're, <laughs> I'm just trying to do what I like to do. And, and everybody's invited, you know, I don't just put it in here and say nobody can come and see it or do, you know, we get it stuff out and play with it and we do fun stuff with it. Got a lot of kids that come around and they like to just sit up in them. <laughs> I always I wanted to do this. Now, <laughs> now I'm a dangerous. I'm those guys that I hate when I'm driving down the I-40. I don't think truck drivers are looked up at as heroes like they were back in the 60s and 70s, which I, I wish they still were because without trucks, America stops. You know, it, everything you got, everything you own was brought at some point on a truck. And I think New York City would shut down in 48 hours if they didn't have trucks coming in there. They don't grow anything. They don't make any food there. It's all hauled in, you know. So everybody fussing and griping about trucks on the road, they need to think, hey, because you shut that down and it's going to end real fast. Train can bring it to a certain point, but it can't pull into the grocery store. So don't fuss about the trucks going down the road. Just give them room and you know, be courteous, 99.9% .9 of all the truck drivers are good professional drivers, and they, their courtesy, you know, it goes a million miles, and, and literally millions of miles. And don't crash the gate until 98. <laughs> there you go. All right. Put the button up, or down. That's you the got parking brake. I drove my truck, a truck, I, ooh, I drove a truck for the first time in my life. That was cool. And uh, if there's any truck to drive for the first time in my life, I'd say the dual truck is the best truck I ever could have done. Next up, I got And gotta, coming from me, it's one of the hardest trucks to drive. Next truck, let's go find Optimus Prime. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, if you do, I'll be able to keep doing this and you'll be able to enjoy it. No horn, we can't forget the horn. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs>